bins are on for this one, folks. I've got one to read you. Something we covered about a week ago. We've got the fallout from it now. And by the way, we've had a couple of people, I think, on the uh, channel earlier on commenting on this. Not what I'm going to do now, but on what was on your TVs last night, which I commented on about a week ago. You'll guess who it is. Don't worry about that. Let me put the bins. Well, the bins are on. Let me read it to you. Cracking this. If Brad is Batman, Barney is the boy Wonder. But only in the sense that you wonder, what on earth is he doing there? Nepotism, nepotism, ne that's not in there, I'm just saying that. Doting dad Bradley has been nursing his son's career for years. They've driven their camper van halfway around the world, tackling bungee jumps on Breaking Dad. When Bradley was parting the Larkins, Barney landed a role as the village policeman. The sad fact is, he's not doing 26-year-old Barney any favours. Walsh Jr. looked overwhelmed as the lights went up in the gladiators' arena. Surrounded by a screaming crowd. He looked like a little lost boy. No, that's not on there. I've made that up as well. No, sorry. I'll get back to the what I should be reading. He never looked like a little lost boy. Well, he probably did, but that's not what they're saying. His arms hung limply. And his legs wobbled. Must have been a full camera shot, obviously. Like a puppet hanging by a single string. He said, yes, Mr Tracy. No, he never said that. That's me as well. I'm making that up. Stop doing that. Oh, that hurt that. His naturally light voice, a bit like mine, really, became strangulated. A moment of terrified hesitation preceded every line he spoke. Alongside an equally awkward presenter. This might have seemed endearing. Next to his dad, 63-year-old Brad. I added that. I sounded a bit like Rick Mail there. Next to his dad, 63-year-old Brad. That wasn't in there, but I thought it went. It did say 63-year-old. It did say Brad. The most experienced showman on telly. He looked lost. That's Barney, they mean. Well, he should be lost. He should get rid of him. Should to give him to start with. Like I said, nepotism gone mad. No wonder the BBC bigwigs are thinking what's going on. Well, it's their own fault. They preside over it. If they're programme controllers and what's it about pulling these people in, it's up to them to sort it out. Unbelievable. Like I said, I wouldn't watch it. It'd be crap. A couple of people have been on the channel earlier to tell me it was crap. He's going to be crap. He's got no uh, presenting skills whatsoever. He knows nothing about nothing, man. A 26-year-old boy getting a big gig on Saturday night TV. Could you imagine him? 40, 50 years ago, old Bruce there, heading with the Generation game, with his, and a little son there, pats him on the head. You can be in it with me. Oh, Larry, Larry Grayson. Well, Larry wouldn't have had a son, would he? No. Well, he could have adopted one, but he wouldn't have had one through the normal channels, if you know what I mean. But no, consummate professionals, both of them. They wouldn't have a little son on there. No, 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 no. But Bradley did. It seems to me wherever Bradley goes, Barney goes. We're going to see him on the chase next week or the week after. Maybe he'll bring on the Cup City for the contestants just after the break, you know, just to get his mush on there. I don't know. Maybe they'll bring that in. Maybe that'll be a segment. Cup of tea, halfway through. You never know. Barney would be ideal for it, if you ask me. He's on everything else.